Hi, this is Kavita Suresh Kumar and in this demo, I am going to demonstrate how to create an AWS code commit trigger to trigger an AWS Lambda function. I have logged into the AWS management console. First, let's create a Lambda function. Click Lambda, click create function. So let's give the name as like demo function. And then I'm going to use a runtime as Python 3.8. Right, click create function. So the function has been successfully created. So I'm going to use the sample code which is provided by AWS for Python. So this sample code just uh, when, when there is an any event is triggered so it is just going to print the uh, git clone URL so but you'll be able to do any functions but just for the example demo purpose I'm just using the same sample code provided now let's add the trigger code commit repository name you need to give the trigger name events all repository events the branches we'll give main branch and then click add so we have successfully created a trigger let's deploy this code so the code has been successfully deployed let's go to the configuration click permissions click the role so here we need to add an additional permission to get the repository so let's go and do that to the existing policy we are going to add the additional permissions edit policy add additional permissions so we are going to select the service as the code commit and select the read so we need the get repository permission added so resources so we can specify the be specific with the resources or we can select the all resources you can use add ARN and specify that particular ARN give the region as any and the repository name CNN. click add review policy click save changes so now we have added the code commit get repository access permission to this particular policy So we have done the necessary things so here again we have an option to test the demo function so we can test it out we can create a new event demo event code commit then here we'll give the name of the repository we'll save it and test it so we could clearly see it has been successful this function is performing fine so we can click this link to see the log output so it opens up the CloudWatch logs and here you can see there is a log stream for this and you will be able to see that information in this log. Okay, so now we have seen, we have tested the function. Now let's validate that from the code commit. Whenever there is any changes done in the code commit repo, it should trigger this Lambda function and you should see the corresponding information in the CloudWatch logs. First, let us review the trigger configuration in the code commit. Click settings. 
click triggers you can see there is a demo trigger which has been created and this events all repository events and the main branch and this, this is going to trigger an AWS Lambda function and this is the function name. I'm going to edit the readme file. And I'm going to add the birds. So we need to give the author name and the email address. changes the changes has been committed to main or watch logs let's refresh so we could see now this uh, function has been successfully executed and it is giving the information in this demo we have seen how to create an AWS code commit trigger to trigger an AWS lambda function so we created a lambda function we tested the lambda function locally and then we validated by pushing the changes to the code commit main branch thanks for watching the demo